Ost battalions, from the German word Ost or East, were troops drafted into German service from prisoners captured from the Soviet army. Most of these soldiers were from Asian Russia, North Africa, Russia, Ukraine, the Muslim republics of the Soviet Union, and other places the Germans had conquered. The Ost battalions in Normandy area on D-Day were from the 709th and 243rd Static Divisions. The quality of these troops was so low that the German army had no chance to implement a defense in depth and fixed these men to fight from prepared positions that guarded the beaches. The German strategy was to use the Ost battalions to defend from fixed positions, and German NCOs were ordered to shoot their own men if they tried to run away.
The German infantry was the mainstay of the German army. These soldiers were very dependable and much better trained, equipped, and disciplined than the Ost Battalion troops. The infantry was organized into nine-man rifle squads, comprised of a sergeant, a five-man rifle element, and a three-man light machine gun team. In 1944, the German squad and its tactics revolved around the MG42 machine gun. In the 101st Air Force, The Ger in, in the 101st Airborne Invasion Area, the regular infantry were predominantly from the German 91st Infantry Division. The German inf This is the U.S. M5 Stuart light tank. Tanks like this landed in the first wave at Utah Beach and linked up with the paratroopers of the 101st Airborne during the D-Day invasion. Among the American tanks, the M5 had the least armor and the smallest gun. It was used primarily for reconnaissance, scouting missions, and light infantry support. The Stuart tank was armed with a 37 millimeter main cannon, which was used against fixed positions and lightly armored vehicles. A 30 caliber machine gun mounted coaxially with the main gun, which could be aimed with the turret at enemy infantry. A 30 caliber bow machine gun, which could be used for suppression of enemy positions. And a turret mounted 30 caliber machine gun, which could be used by an infantryman riding on the back deck, just like Sergeant Baker can do in Brothers in Arms. This is the U.S.
the Sherman tank. Tanks like this landed in the first wave at Omaha Beach and linked up with the paratroopers of the 101st Airborne near Carentan. The Sherman tank was armed with a 75 millimeter cannon, which was used most effectively against the sides or rear of enemy tanks. The Sherman tank. This is the German MP-40 submachine gun. The MP-40 was the standard German submachine gun of World War II and was the preferred weapon for squad leaders in the German army. The MP-40 is 32.75 inches long with the folding metal stock extended and it weighs 8.7 pounds. The MP-40 was a very lethal weapon at close range. Many Americans preferred the MP-40 over their own submachine guns and scavenged them whenever possible. In Brothers in Arms, you can feel free to take one for yourself.
We're going to show you the E3 demo of Brothers in Arms. My name is Randy Pitchford, and I am the president of Gearbox Software. Hello, my name is Colonel John Antel, U.S. Army retired, and I'm the uh, chief of staff of Gearbox, also the historian and military advisor. So my job is to make sure that the game is authentic as possible, as realistic as possible, and as much an experience of World War II paratrooper combat as you can possibly make. Right, and my job is to make sure that the game is really, really fun. All right, here we go. You really get to know a man if you have to watch him die. The moment right before he realizes it's over. That moment that his face reflects every decision he's ever made. And that split second you know what kind of life he led. And if he regrets it. All right, look at this. This is Normandy in 1944. This is what it actually looked like. Check it out. You can actually go here today in Normandy, France, to this very spot, and you can look out over the city of Carentan. And it looks different. It's been 60 years, but a lot of it's still the same. That church, for example, is still there, and it looks exactly like that today. It's amazing. And this year is the 60th anniversary of D-Day, but if you go back there today and you look at this ground, you'll see that a lot of it hasn't changed. And the Gearbox team has spent a tremendous amount of time and energy to make this terrain and this battlefield the most authentic experience you'll find anywhere. Yeah, uh, I like to joke that if you memorize the game, you could go to Normandy and become a tour guide. <laughs> look at this guy. Sarge, check this out. I picked up a BAR over at that crashed glider. That's Private Zanovich. He has a Browning automatic rifle. That's a light machine gun that's going to be very important to your tactics and fire and movement. Let me show you somebody else that's, that's important. This guy, Lieutenant Colonel Cole. He, he's a real guy. Look him up on Lieutenant Colonel Cole. This man's a hero. He's one of two men in the entire 101st Airborne in all of World War II that earned the, the highest honor, the, the Congressional Medal of Honor. And, and uh, the other guy that earned that award in the 101st Airborne was also, uh, was also in this unit. Right, Baker, this is how it's got to be. You and your boys have to stop the crowds from breaking through our line. You've got to hold. No withdrawal. No one stops firing. If you run out of ammo, fix bayonets. Just don't let the Germans break through. Fight to the last, or the crowds will flank us, and it's over. Okay, I'm going to do that, but first I want to show you the assault team. Look at these guys. Now, as we've said, Brothers in Arms is based on a true story, and these soldiers are true to life. Hey Sarge, how's it going? This is Corporal Corian. Corian's your assault team leader. He has a Thompson submachine gun. He uses that machine gun, which is very good for rapid fire at close ranges to close with and destroy the enemy. Look at him. Look at his eyes. Look at his face. It's almost creepy. You okay, Sarge? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We spent a lot of time uh, to try to create real people because as a squad leader, I make decisions that will affect their lives and their death. And, and th those need to be important decisions. See, I've got my fire team over there and my assault team over there, and I I'm their leader. I'm going to, to lead them. But first, you can see I've got a rifle in my hand, right? It's, it's an action game. It's a first-person shooter, and I can fire this weapon by pulling the right trigger. Or with the mouse and keyboard, I press the left mouse button. I can also switch to another weapon, Thompson submachine gun. I can fire this weapon. I can switch between these two weapons, and I can swap them out for any weapon on the battlefield. It's it's kind of like, and, and it's as easy to play. But I can do something in Brothers in Arms that I that I cannot do in. I can lead my men. I can command them, and I do that very easily with the left trigger. I just hold the left trigger or the right right mouse button on the PC, and and this appears. And this icon is a one-button, context-sensitive command system, and it allows me to lead my men. If I put it on the ground, my order is move to that position. If I put it on an enemy, my order is to attack the enemy, and I could lead my assault team and my fire team using this system. So I'm going to order my fire team, represented by that horizontal line, to move up. My fire team can fire on and suppress the enemy, to pin the enemy down with suppressive fire. That's why they're called the fire team. Move! 
And the other team that I have is an assault team. It's represented with an arrow. My assault team is great for maneuvering on the enemy, for getting up close and killing the enemy, assaulting them. Fire and maneuver tactics are about suppression and assault. So my uh, assault team is very important as well. Now these are authentic World War II tactics. The concept was to find the enemy, to fix him, to flank him, and then to finish him. Or as General Patton from World War II said, grab him by the nose and kick him in the ass. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Yep, use my assault team to kick him in the ass. Look at my men finding cover and, and uh, using it. Okay, contact. Contact, German. Look at my men. They automatically engage. They automatically return fire. They have battle drills that they practice, standard operating procedures. That man's going to find a better firing position because he was out in the field there when it started. And then cover each other as one, some reload, the others fire and suppress the enemy. See that icon there? That's a suppression icon. It, it, it can be toggled off. You can turn that off in the game, but it tells uh, it tells me what state of mind the enemy's in. Look, this guy's exposing himself. Got him. Got him. Good shot. Thank you. All right, let me show you something really cool. This is called situational awareness view, and it lets me get an idea of what's going on in the battle, so that I can uh, I can make decisions about how to approach this problem tactically. See these guys here, they're terrified. They're hiding behind cover, they don't want to die. But they're going to try to use fire and maneuver tactics against me. This guy is, is going to lean around the corner and try to return fire. He's in a tough position right now because I've got six men, seven men including me, all pinning him down. So they're suppressed. So I need to fire and maneuver. Now the reason we give you situational awareness view is because we needed to give you some information about the terrain. You see, when these soldiers uh, prepared to go into battle, they had aerial reconnaissance images and, and maps and uh, sand tables, and they knew the battlefield. They memorized the stuff and, and rehearsed their fights. And so they knew the terrain before going in. You're not going to memorize all that stuff, so we give you situational awareness view. And it, it's, it's pretty amazing. We, we uh, went to the National Archives and got these photos out. You see this wall here? I was actually there. I've seen it in the aerial reconnaissance photos. And in this crossroads, it's exactly how it was. To the yard, it's been recreated. Our, uh, our guys have walked this area. And uh, last time they were there, they met a, a French civilian, 70 years old. He was 10 when this battle took place. And he, and he lived nearby and in a farmhouse, and he witnessed this fight that, that is taking place right now in the game. It's, it's almost like a time machine. Anyway, I'm going to fire and maneuver on these guys. I'm going to go over to the left there, to the crossroads, take my assault team with me, and we're going to flank them from the left, and we're going to get them. Uh, I'm going to leave my fire team here to suppress them, and I'm going to take my assault team with me, Sergeant Matt Baker. My assault team is going to go to the left, and we're going to flank and destroy this enemy. Here we go. Move. All right, we're going to move along this wall to the front of the step on that. Notice how simple all that was. Randy doesn't have to tell the soldiers to move do everything. Out. They're fighting on their own. Machine gun! MZ-42! Contact. Get him. Good shot. Good shot. You flanked him. Oh, wait a minute. There's contacts over here. i got a problem. Go. Fire! Oh, shoot. Let me see. Looks like there's a machine gun up in that, uh, up in that house there. Hold on, let me check the right flank over here because I think uh, I think I'm gonna have to get out of here and go back to that right. If I go out in the open, and that machine gun opens up on us, it's gonna kill us. Yeah, the Germans have shifted their their defense, so you need to move to the right. Let's see if we can yeah, try to flank them the other way. Let's see if we can get these guys. You need to brute force this or flank them. You can't flank them left now. Too much open ground. Got Good shot. Oh, good so that's job. A successful flank. Good job. Here comes some more. You know, I'm going to have to abandon this flank and go the other way. That machine gun's opening up. Yep. Okay. Those guys spotted me now. I'm going to pull back and move to the right. Because that machine gun's going to tear us out. Assault team, come with me. I issued the fall in command. Okay, they're moving tactically like soldiers do. Yeah. Covering each other. 
in cover where they find it. My base of fire team is still suppressing that enemy, putting him down. Look, the Germans are maneuvering too. See that? They're using fire and maneuver tactics as well. I shifted to the right, so they're shifting to the right. We have a system we call situational AI, and it allows our designers to give the enemies commands in the same way that I'm giving the allies commands. It's neat stuff, go, and it allows go, go. The, uh, the enemies to use fire and maneuver tactics against, against the player and his teams. All right, so this guy's dead. We're going to cross the road here. Okay, okay it's dangerous. Be careful. I know, but we got to get across if we're going to flank him from the right. Move better out. than flank him from the left. Yeah, the machine gun can't get you from here, so you're right. probably better off. Let them cover each other. Go, go. Ooh. Obriski got Damn it. Damn it. Obriski's down. Yeah. He's hit. Okay. Uh, that man was Medic. killed because I crossed a danger area, kill zone, without properly suppressing the enemy first. But I've got a great flank on these guys now. Okay, now use the flank to your advantage. Fire. Take him down. Watch him taking fire. Like he's trying to get cover from him. Oh, somebody's shooting you to the right. He's trying to get out of there. Got him. Good shot. Thank you. Look, he's checking on his buddy over there. He's dead, Sarge. All right. Obreski didn't make it. He cares about his teammates, so uh, he went and checked on him. I'm going to bring my assault team move up, out! my fire team up, and we're going to make a move, move on this house. I'm going to end this. Get this high ground on the Oh, you gotta love the Army Air Corps. 100 pound bombs. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, I'm knocked on my, off my feet. I'm not dead. Simulate concussion with motion blur and desaturation. I'm okay. Yeah, and sometimes friendly fire is too close and not very friendly. <laughs> oh, John. All right, I'm gonna make a move on this house. Bring my assault team up here to uh, cover me. Go! 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 Assault rifle. Get this guy. Reloading. Get him, get him, get him. Good shot. Not a good time to get reload. Get up against that wall already, you're gonna get killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. okay, they're dead. I'm gonna bring up an assault out. team. Give him some cover fire or grenades or something. Um, these guys are pinned right now. Grenade them then. Grenades. Fire in the hole. Oh, pardon. Throw a grenade. I need oh, you alive. Get him, get him. Oh, oh, good, good, good. Oh, that is Notice that German tried to run away from the grenade, but then he saw you and tried to shoot. That is brutal. I love it. All right. Take out that uh, gun. I could totally snipe him right here. Do it. No, I'm going to I'm gonna tell my assault team to go get him. Give him hell! Always take the easy shot. <laughs> I want to see what happens. Oh, he hurt okay, close combat. They're in the assault. Ooh. I think they oh, got him. got my guy. Oh, damn. Oh, got both of them. Told you to take the easy shot. Um, that was stupid. I was just curious about what happened there. All right. Tough going up a set of stairs. I know, I know. Let me get my fire team up here. And, Move uh, out! Let's see. Karen Tan is under naval bombardment, looks like. Hey, well, your fire team's still full strength. Who's shooting on Karen Tan right now, John? Right now you've got the uh, USS Texas firing 16-inch uh, naval shells there on the... Uh, on a town of uh, Carantan. Look at that. That's awesome out there. This looks like they got an egg on over And other, other naval ships. Oh, oh, I'm coming. Counterattack. I'm going to get on this machine gun right now. Oh, those guys are suppressed. Oh, more contacts. Got him. We got him on the run. Good that, job. That guy gave the hand signal to the fire team leader. Okay, take these guys down on the right. They got him. Oh. Okay, German oh, tanks. You don't have any four. tank weapons. Get out of there. Put some fire on that tank while you withdraw your squad. Hold on, let me get my guys out of here. Put fire on the tank while you withdraw your squad. Oh shoot! Give them some cover fire. They're getting taken down. Oh god! Take them down. Oh man. Oh, tanks are tough. Yeah, and two tanks are tougher. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that is our uh, new game, uh, Brothers in Arms, and we're very proud of it. We think it's uh, a very unique, authentic, and fun experience, and uh, we hope that you enjoy it as much as we enjoy making it. Thank you, John. I'll do better next time. Tua. Tua.
Waffen SS Panzer Grenadiers were some of Germany's toughest soldiers and could be counted on to have more equipment, ammunition, anti tank weapons, and overall firepower than any other infantry force in the German army. The Panzer Grenadiers, which stands for Mechanized Infantry, were heavy infantry designed to fight in and around their armored half tracks. Their purpose was to support and enable the fast moving tanks and to keep the tank attack rolling along. The Germans believed in the concept of combined arms, using infantry, tanks, artillery, and aircraft together to overmatch the enemy in mobility and firepower. The Waffen S. I can't get anyone. Lega, keep trying. We need armor now. We're all dead. Hello? Hello? Shit. Is anyone there? I need armor support now. I mean, right fucking now. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Don't let him break through. Ah! 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 Get up, man. Get up. Forget him, Jameson. He's gone. Get back on that machine gun. Come on, man, don't die. Hang in there. Dang it, where's that goddamn armor? He's gonna die. He needs help. We're all gonna die if you don't get on that fucking radio. No! God damn it! Fuck this crap, bastard. Oh, shit, I got armor! Let's get the hell out of here! No one's all back. Keep firing. Don't stop firing. Get down. This is gonna be bad. Take it, take it, take it! 